it is 5.7 degrees Celsius out there and my Xiaomi 15 is running cold for the last 15 minutes. In this video, I'm gonna do some benchmarking, but first things first, I wanna have this phone properly cooled to just see what are the limits. I'm gonna keep the case, but as you can see, the internal suck is running on 27 Celsius, which is, I do believe, quite unusual. And as you can see, 22.9 on the surface. Quite unusual, as I said. I'm gonna go inside the battery, and I'm gonna choose the battery to be in the performance mode. This will increase the power consumption and this might lead to overheating issues. I'm gonna turn it anyway and I start with a lot of battery. As you can see, 80% of the battery, guys. Of course, then I'm gonna do also a proper benchmark, but the first things first, I want to remove the heat factor from the test. And I do have also a cooling pad that I can use from banks, but I wanna do it the old retro way here we are it's freezing but nevertheless let's do it the proper way if you don't believe me yeah you can probably see what happens so i did run the geekbench 6 yesterday and i got this core 2840 single core and 8702 for the multi-core score the idea is to just rerun the benchmark inside indoors with 24 celsius ambient temperature the phone get to 38 39 so it could be also that xiaomi are somehow limiting the snapdragon 8 a lit in the xiaomi 15 it's a very small device 6.36 inches on a diagonal and it could be that this device just simply cannot hit the records set by other Snapdragon 8 Elite phone. But let's see how well the Geekbench 6 goes. And then I'm gonna do a 3D Mark Extreme Wildlife Stress Test. Again, outside it's five Celsius. It's freezing cold. No, I'm joking, it could be colder, but nevertheless, it's still five Celsius. Phone runs on 22.8. Let's just see how much you're gonna get here. Uh, let's do some other tests outdoors and then let's bring this baby indoors and see the impact because again you know how it goes more performance more hit more hit throttling or you lose some battery or in some cases both all right let's keep going All right, guys, 3,014 on the single core score and almost 9,500 on the multi core score. And at this point of time, we're not sure if heat was the enemy first time we did the test or, well, when I just used the performance mode. But of course, we are going to double confirm this. Now, let's also try to run a 3D Mark wildlife test because remember the first time we did that yeah the results wasn't so good it was of course better than the s24 ultra with the snapdragon 8 gen 3 5744 and it's now time to start the wildlife extreme test for a second time 24 celsius okay <laughs> let's see how much are we gonna crank right now Six thousand four hundred forty-three and an average frame rate of almost thirty-nine FPS, ninety-eight percent better than everything else. Battery dropped only with one percent, and you can see the operating temperature from twenty-four to twenty-seven Celsius. This really looks insane. But guys, remember, yesterday I did a test first indoors, second without the update that I installed on my Xiaomi fifteen, and then also I didn't use the performance mode. I used this thing here called the balance mode so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna go inside wait for the phone to warm a bit because see here it's no joke it's really cold outside five celsius at least it's cold for me and then we will redo this now that we have the baselines all right let's go inside 10 minutes past we are now indoors 24 8 almost 25 celsius the phone is, I do believe now, back to normal. And now it's going to be interesting to see if we can really match this result. Again, remember, it's not only the five Celsius outside, which is 20 Celsius less than here. It's also the new update that I sold yesterday and also using the performance mode. So without any further ado, let's start the Geekbench 6. I hope that this will also get the phone into the normal operating mode 
So even here, if we manage to still get a nice result, we should get pretty much a normal result in the 3 Mark Extreme test because this will still generate some heat for that sweet little Xiaomi 15 using the Snapdragon 8 Elite. All right, let's see what happens here. And yes, the results are down a bit, but still almost 3,000 on the single core score and again more than 9,000 on the multi-core score. So now I'm going to measure the temp 34.3 and the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to run a Wildlife Extreme because this will for sure generate even more heat and then I'm going to start the Geekbench 6 again and again and again and again and again and again until I know what really happens and that heat is really causing it. All right, guys, I'm gonna press start. Why is this so important? Well, we have to differentiate between the peak performance and also the sustained performance. Peak performance usually means maximum value. So let's say your phone can really crank all the power that it's inside and boom, just deliver. And that is good for things like benchmarks, but if you are using it for a real thing, like playing games for, let's say, two hours, then it's going to be a problem because usually when you hit peak performance, the phone will hit so much. And if the cooling is not on par, if the chips inside are not cooled down, then eventually the thermal management will start throttling, which means that the phone will artificially try to slow down your performance, limit the heat in order to preserve all the electronic components inside because heat is always the enemy. 6,231 and almost 38. So this is very good in terms of average frame rate. Last time it was 38.5. And now let's check the heat slowly going from 29 to 33. And we are now at 72 percent so we only lost like eight percent with the testing now i'm gonna start geekbench again and just see what happens here let me go back to the previous discussion so peak performance is very important but sustained performance is this performance that the phone can hold for a prolonged period of time so imagine here this is your peak performance and imagine this here is 60 fps whatever game you play and imagine here, you reach here, probably you do like 70, 80, 90 FPS, but let's say 60 is good. And down below we have the 50, the 40, 30, and etc. So if your phone can hit the peak performance, but then still deliver two hours of stable 60 FPS, stable, good performance, this will mean that the sustained performance is good. But if your phone hits the peak performance and then boom, goes to like 30 FPS or to whatever you don't like or you're not happy with, in terms of performance, this means that throttling is applied. Thermal management kicks in again. The idea of the vendors is to try to preserve the electronic components. And usually heat is the enemy because your chips inside can degrade with time. And if you use a lot of heat on them, yeah, this will cause additional wear and tear and sometimes probably even damage. So the sweet spot is a form that can give you for a short amount of time this highest peak performance, but then also give you a very good performance over a long period of time. And when I say longer, maybe 30 minutes, 40, like maybe two hours, who knows? This phone is only 6.36 inches, right? And it's not the pro version, it's not the ultra version. So most probably this phone doesn't have the best cooling inside. And by the way, also using it with case inside. And the issue is that usually when you put a very, very high performance chip like the 8 Elite, in a small phone, well, let's say the cooling is not the best, you might end up with having a lot of throttling, which means limiting down on your sustained performance. And this is what we want to discover in this video. All right, let's keep going. A further drop as the temperature increases, 2,894 on the single core score and 8,948. And yes, the temperature is increasing so it's time for another round of the wildlife extreme now my prediction is we are not going to even reach 6k but okay let's see we're just here to test so let's test this and again why i'm doing this to understand what the snapdragon 8 elite can do in ideal conditions where heat is not a problem or let's say where the cooling is so effective which we know it's not in a small phone like this or probably in any other phone and then also to understand when we hit this thermal throttling area. How much from this peak performance are we gonna get? Is this gonna be enough 
to stay here, the sweet spot where let's say we have nice gameplay, two hours sustained performance, or it's gonna go down. Now, of course, this requires some proper gaming tests. I wanna start first with the synthetics, with the benchmark. And believe it or not, but in the next few weeks, I'm going to rip that phone apart and try to test everything I can. And if you like videos like this, please just go and watch some others. My prediction was spot on 5,851, and we can see 39.6. So guys, now what I am gonna do, I am going to start the beast test, and the beast test is the wildlife extreme stress test. Why? Well, because this is going to repeat this test 20 times. Xiaomi 13 was not even able to finish the test. At some point, boom, the phone will just overheat. Xiaomi 14 was able to get through. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Snapdragon 8 Elite in the Xiaomi 15 can do. And we have still 24 to 3 indoor. So this is kind of like a perfect ambient temperature. It's not too hot, by the way, because just remember, if you go outside in the summer and you have 38, then of course we can get annoying things like the screen to dim the brightness, which is annoying and it happens all the time on my S24 Ultra for a reason or not. But all right, let's see what the extreme stress test will show us and I am going to measure the temperature every five rounds. Let's go. Round number five. It's time for a temp check. Woo, 46. If this temp starts going up and up, well, at 49, I think that the phone will just die. My personal temp record was with an Oppo or a Vivo, can't remember, maybe it was an Oppo, 52, 53, and then at 55, I was just about to abort the test because I don't really want to burn this phone. Well, it survived, but yeah, 46, it's already a lot. Let's just see how much more we're gonna get in round number 10. Forty-eight Celsius, which isn't that bad because remember five rounds ago we were just at forty-six. So most probably some throttling already occurs. I don't want to touch the phone, but I can feel the heat. Yeah, forty-seven dot five, forty-eight, forty-eight dot two. Better be not fifty in the next five rounds. But all right, let's see what happens in round number fifteen. Let's go. Round number 15. All right, guys, 48.8, which is, I guess, 49.2, but still a good indication that we are still doing the test. So the Xiaomi 15 is not overheating, at least not to a point where the test will be aborted. And also the other good news is, yeah, it's not going for more than 50 Celsius, which is going to freak me out a bit. So 49.2 is a lot, right? Don't get me wrong. This is still a lot, and most probably the phone is already trying to terminally manage everything inside to just stay alive and run the test. But remember, at the end of this test, we're going to have 20 loops. We're gonna have a best loop score, a low loop score, and then this is going to calculate how successful the test was, how stable the phone was. Because how is this calculation done? Well, it takes the best loop score, and then the lowest one, this is how we get to the stability rating. If you get a lot of high scores that are close to the highest score, then you probably get like 80, 90% stability. My feeling is, hmm, 50, 60, 70% stability. But again, I don't have my crystal ball right now, so we still have to wait another four rounds before the result. And here we have the final results, but before we dive deep, 49.7 oh my god the best loop score 5661 not that bad remember outside with five celsius we were doing above 6000 but what i do like is that the lowest loop score is 4409 and the stability rating is actually 78 percent almost so that's not bad at all we started off very strong we started off very strong in the first few loops then a drop and then another drop but then from round number seven to round number 20. The sustained performance, the one that I was talking about a while ago, yeah, I think it's there. And remember, we started off from 80% of a battery. Now in this test alone, we lost from 69 to 56%, which is actually 13%. And indeed the temperature was from 38 
to 51 celsius this is the battery and the frame rate let's now put everything on a single chart so then here we have the battery you can see goes down here we do have the temperature just going up and then here we have the frame rate which i don't think it's that bad at all and now one final test as you can see the phone is now really very much heated i want to see how lower can we get last time we got 2800 and almost 9000 but this time i have a feeling it's going to be poor let's do this as a recap of the video and again if you want to watch more content like this or camera comparison or any other tech stuff just browse the channel and watch some more videos let's go not that bad not that bad after so much beating 2725 and 8323 on the multi-core score now let me show you this was the first time me doing the Geekbench with a fresh phone out of the box no update and with the balance performance right 2870 and 8700 for the multi-core score this was outside with 5 celsius we breached the 3k barrier on the single core score and almost 9500 on the multi-core score then i went inside 24 celsius ambient temp 3000 almost 9000 and then 2800 versus 8900 and now we are here right which means that the snapdragon 8 requires <laughs> some kind of cooling a lot of cooling i guess but it's still a very very much powerful chip because this thing here is really a lot and i know that there's gonna be phones probably even pushing more than that like all the gaming phones and all the bigger boys with a nice cooling vapor chamber and whatnot but this thing here is the reality and i really hope that you have enjoyed this video guys the bottom line we started with 80 percent we're now 54 percent we lost almost 30 percent okay 26 percent the phone took a lot of bidding a lot of 3d mark testing inside outside and those are the results thank you so much for watching please just go and watch some other stuff stay safe we'll see you over and bye